So coming off a Super Bowl win, Tom Brady says he's coming back for another season. How do you feel about that? I say, come on. I think, uh, you know, he might have a, you know, he may feel as if he's got a, a tarnish on his record from previous years where people were questioning whether he wanted square and fair. So come back, get another one, and uh, make them, you know, turn those haters into congratulators. I would like to thank everybody for tuning in to the Shut Up Already podcast, where we discuss everything related to sports. It's your boy, K. And it's your boy, P. Feeve, a.k.a. Mr. Nobody. And at this time, I would like to thank King Neppy for all the fresh wear. Now, let's transition into this. Man, I think the man need to stay home and enjoy his family, man. Man, when you got a chip on your shoulder, you got a chip on your shoulder. Point blank. Man, 41 years old, P. Hey. He was 41 a couple months ago, too. <laughs> when, when, he, when he won another Super Bowl? Yeah, when he won another Super Bowl. So, I mean, that that really, age ain't a number. No no pun on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, technically, it technically is, though. For 41 is a number. It is a number, but it doesn't mean anything when it comes to winning a Super Bowl because he just won one. I think the man need to take a page out of John Elway's book, man, and go out on top. I mean, only thing I say is if he gets out there and he got the same line, he's got the same football IQ, and he's getting it done, let him live. But if it comes to a point where every game he's limping off the field, hey, Tom, you might want to pack it on in. But see, the only problem I have with this is you never know – when you're holding on too long until you're in the middle of it and everybody has to witness the train wreck. That's the problem. Like, you can't predict the future, so he's going to go out there because he feels like he felt last time, and then we're all going to get to witness the train wreck right in front of our eyes. Well, I mean, but it was his choice. Let's, let's, let's not forget. It is his choice. You're right. It's, it's his choice to go out there. So he knows what's best for him. So... He get out there and the train wreck happened. He's the one that he pulled the sheet back for, for us to see it. He wanted you to see it. If he don't feel like his body is in the right condition or his football, football IQ isn't there, then he would know better. He would know best. And if he knew what was best for him, he would stay home. But if he feels as if he still got it, let him go out there. But if we witnessed the train wreck, he gave you a ticket to the show. You know what I compare this to? What's that? So do you remember how you felt when, when Jordan left the Bulls and he played them a couple of years for the Wizards? He should have packed it on in. He should have left about two years earlier, right? Yeah, I, I agree. I don't want to see that same thing with Tom Brady. But he didn't switch uniforms. Yes, but it would be, be the same result. It would be the same result. He should have packed it in a couple of years earlier. He still got to go through training camp, all that other stuff. So, I mean, if Belichick feels as if he he's not ready, I mean, they have a a, a, a good enough a relationship to where Bill would pull him aside and say, hey, bro, you know, I know you want to do it. I know you feel it. I know you want to lead a team. But physically, you, from what I'm seeing, you might not be ready for that now. Or our time is... Uh, you know, our time has passed. Somebody's got to be the reality check. But if he's feeling good and, you know, he's all game for it, I'm all game to watch him. And I'm not a Patriots fan by by no means. But if the man want to go out there, he got a chip on his shoulder, wanna, even if he gets 10 rings, so be it. I mean, I'm not a Patriots fan either. But I just hate seeing athletes at the highest level just hang on just a little bit too long, and then you start seeing the decline witness right in front of your eyes. I, I hate that. I'd much rather see the man ride off into the sunset. He just won a Super Bowl. Go home and spend time with your family, man. Why didn't you tell, tell that to Kobe? Oh, he stuck around about three years too long. Yeah. Shaq. But, 
But but they gave him some ungodly amount of money, so he almost felt that he had to stick around. Hey, he got some other projects off the ground with that money. Yeah. <laughs> Shaq, Shaq should have left about two or three years before he did too. Hey, but he's on every commercial, all over your TV screen when you're watching commercials. But, you know, it is what it is, man. And if, if the man has a chip on his shoulders and want to go out there, and even if he ends up encountering it and witness, and we all witness that train wreck, he, he sold you the ticket to it. He sold you the ticket to the Tom Brady train wreck show. So there you have it. So, Tom, I need you to look directly at me right now because I have something I want to say to you. And I would say this. You don't have anything else to prove. You're going to be considered the greatest of all time, the best NFL quarterback that ever played. You got the rings. You've made all the money. Your wife makes a lot of money. Money is not an issue. Go home and enjoy your family. And that's all I got to say about it.